Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. This canine is known as a Mexican hairless. When I was about 16 years old, I was working at a Golden Corral. And they were just getting their start back in the day. And uh, it wasn't like this big buffet that they have now. You get in there, you order a steak, hamburger, kids meal. And... Uh, did I think they did have a salad bar. Not sure about that. But anyway, what the restaurant I worked at used to have a big old vacant lot behind it. Well, whoever owned that vacant lot would rent it out to various carnivals coming through. And when carnivals come through town, it was open season on stealing. Well, I was carrying out the trash I was dishwasher, by the way. The owner of the franchise told me I was chief dishwasher. And uh, I was the only dishwasher, so that made me chief and second in command, I guess. Well, I went out there, and these little boys were at the dumpster, and they were part of the carnival crew. Their family worked the carnival, and they were just hanging around. They weren't doing nothing. Well, they were holding this little dog. And I saw this little dog, and I informed them, I said, I hate to tell you all this, but that dog's eat up with the mange. <laughs> I never had seen nothing like this. Well, I worked part-time at an animal farm, and the guy raised uh, different dogs, uh, Doberman Pinchers, and I think he raised Rhodesian Ridgebacks as well. And those were rare dogs around the area back in the day. And uh, they, were, they were some pretty dogs, but... Anyway, I offered to, they'd get with their parents. We'd run down there and dip that dog and carry it up the mains. And they were trying their best to explain to me, you know, you know, they just don't have any hair. Well, this one looked cleaned up. The other one had little tiffs coming out of his ears. I know that dog was eat up with the mange. And I told them we could even put burnt butter all on their dog. But anyway, they, uh, didn't take my advice or my help on putting oil on the dog or dipping it in some kind of DDT-based product, probably, to help with the mange. And uh, now you can get different information. Back then, you couldn't, you know, you'd hear about it and maybe read about it in the paper. You know, wasn't such an information-driven time. A lot of fun times, a lot of memories. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like, hit that subscribe button. God bless.